worker at the public service company of New Mexico. Uh, we helped out a family who took in their niece and nephew and gave them a home. It was an awesome Christmas surprise. The family had no idea why we were really there. They thought we were there for an energy checkup. It was so fun. We had our good friend Pat, who is the CEO of P&M, to pretend to be an assistant. It was so awesome. Let's take a look. Speeding, and you guys are good to go. Shannon, what we got going on today? So we have a little bit of a surprise. We have identified a family in need, and we have kind of presented this as we're here to give them a free P&M home energy checkup. However, there's a little twist. We're actually here to give their family a Christmas surprise. Just really trying to make it super special for this family. This is going to be so awesome. And we got Pat, the CEO of P&M. She's going to go undercover as Shannon's assistant. And uh, <laughs> the family just thinks we're doing an energy checkup. So let's go and uh, let's go save some energy for these guys. <laughs> Yes. Hi, I'm Shannon. I'm with p &M. How are you? Great. Nice Good. to meet you. This is my assistant, Pat. Hi, Pat. Nice to meet you. you. We're here to do your p &M Home Energy Checkup. All right. Why don't you come in? Thank, Thank you. you. So what we're going to be doing today is a p &M Home Energy Checkup, and mm -hmm. we're going to go room by room in your home, see where you're using electricity, how you're using it, where it might be being wasted, and then we will offer you some things and, and install some things for you to really help save on your p &M bill. Cool. That sounds okay. great. Okay, I'll cut. Pat, would you mind closing the blinds real quick? Oh, sure. So, there's the incredibly inexpensive light bulbs that you can get at the store. They're called incandescent light bulbs. energy efficient ones are LED light bulbs. Mm -hmm. And they might cost just a tiny bit more at the register, but they're really going to save you a ton of money on your P&M bill. John, kids, come here. Yeah, so none of, none of this is, is real. Um, of course, we want to give you a P&M home energy checkup, but none of this is real. That's not why we're actually here. <laughs> but you can have the light bulbs. I'm Pat Kalan, and I'm the CEO of P&M. And we've talked to your landlord. And we're going to pay your rent this month. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yes. So. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. Yeah. We took care of that for you. you. Can you get your husband and, and, and everybody? Yeah. Okay. Let's go outside. There's a little bit more to this. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Did you no, hear that? They like, paid our rent for the month. Like, what? Like, what? Like, what? So good things happen to good people, you guys. We're not just paying one month's rent. So, yes, we're taking care of groceries for you guys. Took care of some gas. So we're sending your entire family to the movies also. But it, there's actually a little bit more, okay? Just a little bit more. we get yes. our kids yes okay so these are my sister's three kids and um, about two years ago she went to prison and these guys were in Iowa and um, so we brought them down here and they've been living with us since and um, it's been a roller coaster we've only ever had a dog so <laughs> it's been um, quite a learning curve but we've grown so much together in the last two years and 
It's been a lot of fun. It's hard. It's challenging sometimes, but we really like each other, so it's good. I think it can be really hard, and you just have to remember that there's people that can support you if you just ask and reach out, and that your little everyday things may not feel like much, but they're making a difference. Yeah. And in the big picture, it, it's going to work out. Merry Christmas! Oh, so, so awesome. And thank you for all of our friends at PM for making that possible. This was one of the funnest projects and the neatest experiences we got to do. Uh, I do have the awesome Levson family here with us today. So, everyone, please give it up for Kaylee, John, and Jathiah. <laughs> Please. Guys, welcome. Thank wow. <laughs> this is so awesome to get to talk with you guys more from that. It was I, When we were there, you didn't know who we were and what we were there no. for. So <laughs> what was your first thought that went through your head when Pat said that she was the CEO? I thought that was the funniest thing. I think I was, I felt like no one reacted and I was like, oh, that's the joke. And then I, and then I was like, oh, that's not funny though. They wouldn't do that. <laughs> That's not funny, that's mean. So it took me a second and then I, I kind of was like, did you hear that? Did you guys hear that? <laughs> Nobody reacted, you know? So we were like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Um, it was, just it, was it, it really blew me away. I didn't, I didn't even know what to say. And I mean, they'd been videoing Shailene shut the microwave in the camera and I was like, no, I mean, they did a lot of work to make this look like a, an energy checkup. So. I was totally surprised. Well, these energy <laughs> checkups, I think, are, are actually a real thing that they do to help families <laughs> with. And I just, it was so funny because we had like all of these big light boxes and all of these things to make it happen. You guys were like, wow, they really, really want to push those energy yes. checkups that yes. were going on. <laughs> all the kids were just like, so like light bulbs. Wow, this is so <laughs> awesome. Thank you for spending <laughs> Tuesday night with us, everyone. <laughs> well, I'm really excited to have you guys on the show. We're going to cut to a quick commercial break and we're going to get to talk a little bit further, all right? We'll be right back, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. I got the Levinson family here. I got Kaylee, Jathiah, and John. Um, awesome family. Uh, <coughs> Kaylee and John took in their nieces and nephew. Um, you have two others um, that are not here today, but we do have Jathiah. Um, how old are your other two? They're eight and ten. They're eight and ten. Mm -hmm. um, Jathiah uh, skipped out on school today to be here with us, so we really appreciate <laughs> this. <laughs> Um, so, what you did was absolutely incredible. Um, you guys are both students um, right now, and this was just a surprise that your sister's um, situation came up and you took in her children. And I think that is just an incredible, remarkable thing that you guys did. And um, I just want to, like, what was the thought process when you first got that phone call? I think we... We sort of had been expecting it. It's not the first time that we've actually had them. Um, it's the longest, um, but we, without thought, we're like, of course, of course, we're going to take them in. Um, but now it's been two years, and it's there's been, you know, after that initial, of course, we're going to take them. Um, we've now had, you know, some really hard days where we were like, oh no, <laughs> what are we going to do? <laughs> And of course, at we, everything always has turned out, and um, it's it's been uh, we're now pursuing guardianship, so this will be more of um, a longer term thing than it ever has been before, and that that has taken more thought than than our original one, where we've been like, oh, our trajectory towards just being two two adults together with our dog traveling around isn't isn't is no longer our future. So yeah. it's taken us a little while actually to adjust to that. Um, but it's been such a blessing. It's, it's been really good. I love that. I love that. Well, what was the, like the lifestyle change that had to happen? Again, you guys are both students in school. Um, and, uh, you know, you're, you're full-time students. Mm -hmm. And so like, what did you guys have, like, what'd you have to do to be like, now we have no longer just a dog. We have three, 
we have three kids to raise. Yeah. So like, what was, how do you overcome that? Uh, I had to get a lot better at scheduling, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm more of a play it by ear and hope it gets done kind of person, and that just does not work anymore. So that was a, a big hurdle for me, for sure. I think that's on a, a great answer, though. I think as so many of us don't tend to be. I think so many of us are so self-centered. And I think like when something like this comes up, it really shows how selfless one can be. And it's like, I'm no longer going to be able to do X, Y, Z with my time <laughs> or like whatnot. It's like, I'm going to focus on something bigger than myself. So I think that's incredible. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. What is, um, what is the biggest obstacle for you guys right now? Um, I think it still is time. It's, you know, I'm working full time. We're students. Um, everybody has some kind of an appointment throughout the week. <laughs> and, um, and it's, it's hard to try to fit it all in, but also have the time to just relax together and just be with each other and not, you know, th there's so many things on your list, but you also want to have just unscheduled, let's hang out. Enjoy. Yeah. yeah. That leisure time. And so it's, it's hard to not, you know, run all through your day, but also just be in your moments. Yeah. So. What has this experience been like for you, Josiah? Has it been, has it been tough? <laughs> yeah, it's been tough trying to readjust to having um, just a father figure and a bunch of just having a, like we were in a originally we were in a very like compact spot and so we needed to move and moving was difficult and all that and it was all it was all pretty difficult yeah 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 you went through a lot man that's a lot to go through um, what is the relationship like with like you, with the two of you and Josiah are you do you do you look at them as your parents now kind of yeah I yeah. Do you still talk with your mom? Yeah. Is, this, uh, is the relationship good with the mom and like, how, like, how is that going? Yeah. So John and I have, um, you know, agreed to be always, um, you know, she's their mom. There's nothing that will ever change that. And we've given the kids space to feel what they need to. So at times they're really angry with her. Um, at times they're very protective of her. Um, and they, they just kind of fluctuate and, you know, having experiences from my childhood with my own dad, I know that I have to come to my own conclusions on my own and, and anything that an adult might say to me, I could resent. And so John and I just kind of stay out of that um, relationship. We just want to make sure that, that the kids know how to set their own boundaries with her. Yeah. I was adopted uh, at a very young age, and the whole time I kept in contact with my birth mom, my biological mom, and uh, of course with my, you know, the family that adopted me. So it's such an interesting dynamic to, you know, switch uh, in those situations. So uh, yeah. really, it's not the ideal situation, but I mean, it's it's awesome what what you, you guys did and what like my parents did. So I really mm -hmm. appreciate that. What advice do you have for parents for other people that I don't know that might have this situation spring up, you know, just spring upon them? Find humor. <laughs> Find your humor. It'll that's help great, you. That's a great, that's a great yeah. though. Um, um, and be aware of the communication issues that you might have. Um, even to this day, we, we miscommunicate on little things and it can seem like the end of the world sometimes. Um, and that's another major obstacle that I have to, to deal with is, you know, that, that little facial tick or that, that word that you might have said in a certain tone, it shouldn't be the end of the world. And uh, remembering that, you know, these little ones came from a house that you weren't in. Yeah. So um, kind of being more accepting and, and understanding of what they're going through. Yeah, for sure. He's becoming more fluent in 10-year-old girl. <laughs> so. <Jeez. laughs> this is a hard language to learn. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Um, our whole show's motto is to like love without limit, and I think you guys are doing a very, um, you're, you're an example of that. I just want to hear from your guys' uh, perspective, what does, the defin what, what does love without limit mean to you guys? I think that is love. Um, to, to know the worst about people and still choose to do what's best for them, um, and to just believe the best, no matter, no matter what's happening, you know, no matter what kind of um, 
tantrum is happening right now, you just, you know that they're, you kind of hold a picture in your mind of who they really are. And that can help you get through tough times and it's, it's really great to hold on to during regular times because then you can just speak those words to them about who they really are and you know they're all so kind and so wise for their age and funny and playful and they're really great kids so it's I think it's important to just to remember that in in all your choices yeah you yeah run <laughs> Yeah, I'm really impressed with, I was really impressed with you guys, and but the kids as well. Uh, Jathiah is so mature for his age. You're in 10th grade, right? Yeah. And we're like asking him to come and intern for our show because we think he could, <laughs> he could really help us out here. So we're really excited <laughs> to work with you on that. Um, this has been so awesome to be able to spend time with you guys. And again, I think that your message is so powerful and so strong and um, really appreciate uh, just setting the bar, you know, of what it could be. Uh, to really love without limit. So thank you guys for that. Um, with that, we're going to cut to a commercial break, but thank you guys so much for taking the time to come on. You guys have a Merry Christmas, and if there's anything we ever do for you, please let us know, all right? Thank you. So thank all right, you. we'll be right back after this break. Everybody. <laughs>